Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, the same name update dropped on Global, I think sometime last week, right? But honestly, I haven't really had a chance to mess around with it because it's just been so busy. But I knew that as soon as I found the time, the first team I had to throw together and test out would be this one right here with all of the Ultra Instinct Gokus in the game because they're just such fun units individually, and now that they're all together on the same team, uh, things should get pretty crazy. So without further ado, let's jump right into the Realm of God stage of Extreme Super Battle Road and see what happens. So here we go. And by the way, guys, only two days remaining until the uh, 350 million download celebration, which is also pretty hype. But for now, we're going to focus on this UI Goku team, my first time running it. I've been waiting for this for uh, quite some time. So here we go. And uh, obviously I'll put this guy over here. I think my Goku is a little bit better. Let me just check the friend real quick. Okay, so not maxed out Link. Still pretty good though, but uh, mine is maxed out. So I'll leave mine in the first slot and the question is, do we need an item? I don't think so. I think we'll be okay. I am a little bit worried. It's still extreme super battle road after all, but uh, I'm gonna trust these guys. Let's just go for type advantage wherever we can. Here we go. And uh, yeah, let's see how these guys do. Okay, boom. Please get some dodges. At least dodge the supers if possible. That's fine. That's cool. Okay. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Now, obviously, there is a uh, glaring weakness in this team, if you will, or a weak link, which is the free-to-play STR UI Goku from the anniversary. And for a second, I was like, maybe I, I just shouldn't bring him. On this showcase right because like he's gonna be a liability but then i was like but we're doing a full ui goku team showcase and i can't just leave one of the ui gokus in the game even though he's not nearly as good as the other ones so yeah we brought him he is rainbowed i did give him the orbs he also has a high chance to dodge so um i think he'll do okay but i'm definitely concerned about him like, if we're gonna die uh, at some point in this video, it's probably gonna be because of him. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, so first turn, not so bad. Uh, this guy, this dude, is who I'm worried about for sure, but I'm gonna just leave them at the end. And if we can kill Videl before she has a chance to attack us, then we'll be fine. So I'm gonna do it like this, actually. Okay, and I think Vegeta will have enough firepower to finish things off and uh, looks like Devilman is only attacking in the first slot so that's fine too but let's just give these guys a few orbs let me see how much defense he has actually uh yeah 65,000 okay so that's not very good <laughs> it's not it's not like the worst thing ever and he does raise defense on his super but it's still like not gonna be that good for extreme super battle road so uh yeah hopefully Videl dies then I don't have to worry about anything on this rotation. And so far, no items used. I mean, if I can make this a no item run, that would be insane. That would be beautiful. I don't think it's gonna happen, but you never know. There's always a chance. Okay, so yeah, we got the Videl out of the way. No other attacks coming this turn. Uh, I should have switched the targets. That's my bad. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. But it's alright. Uh, we'll finish off Devil Man. And then. Oh, as you can see, there's no links between these two UI Gokus, right? Because they have the same name. So that's why you always have to bring um, separate linking partners for each of the same name units. And that's why it makes no sense to run like a full team of like all units with the same name. Because there's gonna there's gonna be no links, which is gonna be awful. So you do still need some variety in your team building. But I love the fact that we just have so much more flexibility, you know, so much more freedom when it comes to building teams. And you can build teams like this. I'm looking forward to the uh, 
yeah, I'm actually really excited for the full Broly team. And there are just like some other things I've been looking forward to, to doing. So this might not be the last same name update showcase. Um, but this is definitely, it had to be the first one. It just, it just had to be. Uh, okay, let me see here. Uh, man, that last slot is really concerning to me. Uh, I think just to be safe, I'm a pop an Icarus. I mean, like I said, man, no item run would have been great, but it just is not really working out that way. So I'd rather be more safe than sorry. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's go for Grandpa Gohan. And, um, okay, so let's switch that up. And then we'll go to... Is it Mutaito or Mutaito? I never got his name down. I'm gonna say Mutaito. That sounds good to me. Although it's probably wrong. My pronunciation is terrible. Just keep that in mind. If you guys are new and I say a name and it's completely wrong, uh, just just overlook that. Okay, just forgive me. Because that's just always been a thing for me. Like, I just can't pronounce things. <laughs> the long time people know what I'm talking about. <sighs> All right. So, so far one item used, was it really necessary? Probably not, but I tend to, uh, you know, want to be a little bit on the safer side. Just because, like, I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to restart videos. And if this hits, like, that would suck. Oh yeah, see, that that would have been really bad without an item. It wouldn't have killed us, actually. It wouldn't have killed us, but it would have been really bad. We actually would have been okay this rotation without any items. But once again, man, better safe than sorry. This team is awesome, though. Like, this is going really, really smoothly. Pretty much what I was expecting. You know, like, pretty much exactly what I thought this team would be. Um, is bring the SSB Vegeta cheating a little bit? Maybe. Maybe just a bit. But... I mean, he's, he, he's dope, and he fits the team, so why not? All right, uh, let's see. The last rotation has a lot of stuff there, but if we can take out everybody, I don't have to be worried. So if we can take out Mutaito and also Roshi. Roshi has a lot of HP though. Uh, let me think about this. Do we have to maybe put this guy here? I think, I think we might have to, man. It's not ideal, but I think I, think I have to. <laughs> what if he gets supered though? Okay, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to take out Roshi first. If we take out Roshi, then uh, the other attacks are not as concerning, right? I think I'm thinking this, like I'm overthinking this for sure. But once again, man, that UI Goku at the end, you know what? I'm a... That's fine. Okay, I was, I was going to use another item, but I don't think that's necessary. Oh, I should have put the STR Goku at the front. Ah, damn it. Okay, okay. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us, right? Because this this is going well. This is going good. And now I feel like I made a huge mistake, guys. <laughs> I'm nervous, man. I'm really nervous. Yo, 50% chance to dodge. Please. Please come through. Please come through. Yo, nobody's supering. All the supers are at the end. All the supers are at the end. This is going to be bad. Oh, it's going to be so bad. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a dodge. There's another dodge. Okay, another dodge. A super, which he doesn't dodge. We're alive, though. And we got the transformation. Okay. Hey, it worked out. It worked out. Okay, Um. so we got guaranteed dodge in the first slot. That's for sure. Uh, let's take out Roshi. We can take out anybody actually. Um, let's let's take out Roshi first, and then we'll go for Grandpa Gohan. And those are all the attacks actually in the third slot. So the Fizz UI Goku is safe. Fizz Goku is safe. And if we get lucky, we get some additionals. We could actually just kill everybody on this rotation here. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. 
man, this is uh, still a little bit nerve-wracking. I mean, if, if the STR UI Goku wasn't here and I could have brought what I wanted to bring, which was the Roshi, right? I, I almost brought the LR Max Power Roshi in the uh, free-to-play UI spot, but I was like, once again, we need to bring all the UI Gokus on this team. Otherwise, it's not a proper full UI Goku team showcase. It's just unfortunate that he's a free-to-play anniversary unit without a Dokkan Awakening or an Extreme Z Awakening uh, or anything like that. Now, with that said, I really hope that all these anniversary units eventually get their easy A's. Uh, or at least Dokkan Awakening. If not easy A's, at, at, least, at least give them Dokkan Awakenings because they, they need it bad. They, they definitely need it bad. Okay, so we're going to move on from here. Still only one item used so far, um, and I'm probably going to use one more for the last phase, right, for the last stage, and that should be enough. So not a no item run once again, but we're going to try to keep it a very low item run, nonetheless. Alright. Hey, got the transformation immediately, perfect, perfect. I might not even have to item this turn, actually, depending on how the attacks are spread out. Uh, we probably still should... Ooh, those two attacks at the end. Actually, we can kill Yamcha. Okay, I'm gonna I'm still pop the Princess Snake, regardless. And then... I think we'll go for... Yeah, I guess we'll go for Tien first. And then we'll attack Yamcha. I think this Goku should be able to kill Yamcha with one shot. Uh, if my calculations, my mental math calculations right now are correct. Which they couldn't, could be off, you know. I'm not great at mental math. That's also something else you guys should know about me. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure his attack stat is high enough, or his, his just offensive power, like, should be high enough to one-shot Yamcha. Um, because it should be like 4 million attack or so, and then, you know, with the type of manage and everything, should be good. Ooh, okay, no dodge there. Alright. Oh, I was way off. 5.4. 5.4, okay, I thought it was going to be like 4 mil, something like that, but okay. Never mind. Okay, my mental math was off. There you go. There you go. Uh... My bad. Now, was it Yamcha who supered us on the first slot? I think it was, right? I think it was Yamcha that supered us, so we should still be okay. We should still be good. Ah, it doesn't matter. Got the dodges anyways. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um. So... Huh. Last slot, it looks like everybody's attacking. Uh, we have a token attack, too. So, uh, let me think, let me think. If I take out, I mean, Tien's dead for sure. Tien's definitely dead. Uh, we have a, okay, we have a token attack, actually. Right? We, sh we should have a token attack, at least. So if I do this, okay, I'll give these to him. Oh, well, you know what? It might not be enough for a Dokkan attack. Is it gonna be enough for Dokkan? Let me, let me, let me try this. Let me try this. Okay, so if I give all these orbs to him, we should get that Dokkan attack. Oh! <gasps> oh! I messed up. I messed up. I, I was so confident the Dokkan attack was coming, and I was like, "We'll just take everybody out. We'll just, we'll just kill everybody." Um, that didn't happen, so now we still have a bunch of attacks in that last slot, and we might not be able to kill anybody. I mean, we could probably still kill Krillin, right? Krillin should still be dead. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and then if we get a crit, we can kill Tien maybe with the Fizz UI. Even without a crit, we might kill him. Okay, no crit, but additional. All right. 
that enough? Oh, it wasn't enough. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. A little too close for comfort. A little too close for comfort. But it was enough. Alright. Um, this will be the Dokkan attack. And... Obviously, I'm gonna give it to... AGL UI. Uh... Let me think. I'm gonna put this guy... Nah, I'm, I'm gonna put Vegeta. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna put Vegeta there. And... I mean, this could do it. If it doesn't do it, though... I would still feel better about putting... Actually, no, let's put UI there. We'll let the UI Gokus have the shine, right? Because it is, you know, a UI Goku team showcase after all. And even though Vegeta has been very, very good here, we gotta, we gotta let them have the glory. We gotta let these guys have the final shot. Thank you for the dodges. Okay, perfect. Let me just get this, uh... Get this right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So... This should be the final rotation, guys. Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a slow run, I would say, for Extreme Super Battle Road, just because I was thinking a lot. Um, that 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 is my fault. It's my fault. Like I was like trying to process like every single move, trying to make sure I don't die, and that definitely. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's over. I thought it was gonna take one more attack. Never mind. Okay, yeah, that definitely like, you know, extended the length. Of the run but either way we got through it pretty pretty efficiently um two items used so far or not so far just overall and 15 minutes and 46 seconds my last record time was 22 minutes so still an improvement for sure and i'm just loving the same name update guys i'm loving the same name update hopefully i can do a few more uh, unique teams over the next couple of days just so just to catch up, I guess, because I should have been making these videos like a while ago. But like I said, it's been really busy. And then we have the 350 million down celebration coming up. And those LRs should be even better, in theory, than the anniversary LRs, which is hard to imagine. But that's been the trend for the last couple of years. So I think it's going to continue. We'll see, though. And uh, there you go, guys. The All Ultra Instinct Goku team is insane is hella fun uh go test it out for yourself i'm sure most of you guys have but if you haven't go test it out for yourself and uh enjoy it and that's the video guys hope you guys like today's video as always if you like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.